Hello, everyone. This is Kenneth Wong, a Burmese American writer, translator, and Burmese language instructor. This is part of a lesson series on basic conversational Burmese. In this episode, I'll teach you the comparative forms. That means I'll teach you how to say something is hotter, better, taller than something else or someone else, or something is not as hot, not as good, not as tall as something else or someone else. Let's start. Let's first tackle the easiest part. You need to learn the formula to say hotter, taller, sweeter, colder, prettier, and so on to convert a normal adjective into a comparative adjective. This is quite simple to do in Burmese. You do this by adding one simple particle to the front of your adjective, and that particle is bo. For example, the adjective for it's hot is bude. To break it down, that's made up of the adjective. Bu, which is hot, and de, which is the affirmative sentence and particle, together, bu de means it's hot, and all you have to do to say it's hotter is to add the particle bo to the front of your adjective, so you end up with bo bu de, bo bu de. That means it's hotter. Be careful with the pronunciation, though. The adjective for hot, bu, rhymes with flu or stew, so it's. And the special particle that you add to the front of it is bo, which rhymes with bow or flow, like bow tie or water flowing in the river. So it's not bo bo de, it's not bu bu de, it's bo bu de. That's the proper way to say it's hotter. Another example here: the adjective ka means bitter, and if you round it up with the affirmative sentence and de, ka de, it means it's bitter. Now, how would you make it? It's more bitter. Simple. You add the particle bo to the front of it. You end up with bo kare. That means more bitter. Bo kare, more bitter. Give you another example here. We is the adjective for far. So, if you want to say it's further, like some place in comparison to another city is further away, you would say bo wede, bo wede. Now the adjective that we want to use for the next example is mie. That adjective means tall. Miende is how you'd say it's tall. So by the same token, if you add bo to the front of that phrase, you end up with bo miende, which means taller. Bo miende. That's taller. Let's use that adjective to make our first comparison. Comparing two famous pagodas in Yangon, one is the famous landmark Shuigong Pagoda, the heart of Yangon City, and it stands from its foot to its gold tip, three hundred and forty-four feet. By comparison, Bodetown Pagoda stands about one hundred and thirty-one feet. So you start first with the subject that you are talking about. In this case, Shuigong Pagoda. So you start with Shuigong Ga. What is that Ga? That's the subject marker particle. Remember, you're going to be comparing two things, so your sentence will have two nouns. In this case, it's important to add a subject particle to make clear which one is the subject and which one is the compared object. The next part is figuring out how to say more than Bodetown. For that, you have to bring in the object that you're comparing the subject to. That's Bodetown, and then you have to add one particle, and that particle is. In this case, te functions like the English phrase "more than." So far, you've got Shuigong ga Bota Town te. That means Shuigong is more than Bota Town. Now, to round off things, you have to bring in your adjective, which is taller. So you bring in bo mian ne. Put it all together, you end up with the sentence Shuigong ga Bota Town te bo mian ne. One more time, Shuigong ga Bota Town te bo mian ne. That means Shuigong is taller than Bota Town. In fast or normal speed speaking, particles tend to get rolled off the tongue. So you might hear the sentence that we've just mentioned as Shuigong ah Bota Town te bo mian e, rather than Shuigong ga Bota Town te bo mian e. Let's try another comparison. This time, let's compare this month's temperature to last month's temperature. Let us assume that this month it's slightly hotter than last month. This month is dila, and last month is ajenla. I think you can guess that la is the word for month in Burmese, and the word d and ajen are for this and the previous, respectively. By the way, when you say la, the word for month 
you're actually saying the word for moon in Burmese. So in effect, you're saying this moon and the previous moon when you say this month and last month. This is how things work in the Burmese lunar calendar. To say this month is hotter than last month, just like we did before. First, you start off with your subject, which is this month. So you say, Dilaga. Dilaga. That means this month is clearly identifying this month as your subject. And then you bring in a yen la te. A yen la te. More than last month. More than last month. A yen la te. Finally, you bring in your comparative adjective. Po pure. Hotter. Po pure. Put it all together. You end up with dilaga. A yen la te. Po pure. Speaking quickly, it might sound like dila yalate popure. With all that you have learned, let's see if you can figure out how to say this coffee is more bitter than that coffee. The adjective that you are going to need is ka, bitter. Kare is how you'd say it's bitter. Kare, it's bitter. The word for coffee is, well, kopi. Burmese pronunciation of English word coffee, so you end up with kopi. And the word for this is D. Again, this is D. And by comparison, the word for that is ho. That is ho. So, this coffee is D kopi. And that coffee is ho kopi. So, you're comparing this coffee, D kopi, to that coffee, ho kopi. How did it go? Did you figure it out? You start off with D kopi ga. This coffee is. And then you bring in Ho kopi te, more than that coffee. Finally, you round it up with your comparative adjective, po kare. Put it all together. You end up with di kopi ga ho kopi te po kare. Di kopi ga ho kopi te po kare. Spoken quickly, di kopi ga ho kopi te po kare. Moving on, now let me teach you how to say something is not as tall as, not as hot as, not as good as, not as pretty as something else. The opposite of what you've just learned. For that, I think you should start by learning how to form the negative version of the adjectives. Pure is it's hot. Its negative counterpart is mapubu. Mapubu. What you do is you put the negative maker ma to the front of your adjective and then you end it with Bu, which is the negative sentence and particle. So you end up with mapu bu. Don't forget to change your negative sentence and particle to bu. Beginning Burmese speakers tend to make that mistake. They tend to say mapu de, which is wrong. It has to be mapu bu because you are using a negative adjective. Take another one. Bitter is ka. So ka de is it's bitter. If you want to say it's not bitter, you have to say makabu. One more time. Makabu. Miende is it's tall. So if you want to say it's not tall, you'll say mamienbu. One more time. Mamienbu. This time, you need to learn how to say not as much. You can't use the particle te anymore. That is to say more than. But now you're doing the opposite. So you have to use the particle lao. Let me give you an example. When you want to say not as much as this month, you say di la lao. Di la lao. Not as much as this month. Di la lao. If you want to say not as much as shui de gong, you say shui de gong lao. Shui de gong lao. Let's start with something simple. Let's try to say last month was not as hot as this month. So last month, the word for that is a yen la. A yen la. And the word for this month is di la. Di la. And the word hot is bu de. Bu de. So, just like before, you start off with your subject, which is a yen la, last month. So, a yen la ga, last month was. Now you say, di la la, as much as this month. Di la la, as much as this month. Finally, you bring in your negative adjective, mapu bu, mapu bu. Put it all together, you end up with the sentence, a yen la ga, di la la, mapu bu which is how you say last month was not as hot as this month. All right, now let's go back to where we started, the two pagodas that we compared. Remember, Shui de Gong is 344 feet and Bo de Tao is 131 feet. So let's try to flip it around and say Bo de Tao is not as tall as Shui de Gong. Just like before, you start with your subject. So that's Bo de Tao this time. So 
Border Town Ga. That's how you start. Border Town Ga. Border Town Is. And then you bring in Shui Gong Lao. Shui Gong Lao. That means not as much as Shui Gong. Border Town Ga. Shui Gong Lao. Finally, you bring in your negative adjective. Ma Mian Bu. Ma Mian Bu. Put it all together. You end up with the sentence Border Town Ga. Shui Gong Lao. Ma Mian Bu. That's how you say Potarang is not as tall as Shwedigo. Well, Kella is it difficult? Makaputine. It's not difficult, I think. Try saying other things, like, for example, Angelina Jolie ga Danny DeVito te po miene. That's how you'd say Angelina Jolie is taller than Danny DeVito. Or you can try saying something like Nyamazaga ga Inglizaga lao makapu to say Burmese is not as difficult as English. Well, I hope that truly turns out to be the case for you. This is Kenneth Wong, and this is the end of this episode. So let me just say, Namadweme. See you later. Bye bye. <laughs>